Hello everyone, it's Jenkin Rocket here, and today I just want to talk a little bit about the new Black Panther movie. Now, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, I'm going to try not to include any spoilers, but uh, to put it succinctly, that movie was brilliant. It had something for everyone, uh, no matter no matter who you were, or what demographic you came from, or sort of what your, um, whether you're a kid, whether you're young, whether you're old, um, the movie had something for everyone. And it was a well put together and constructed movie. Now I heard a lot of hype reviews about the movie and I thought, is this just hype because Marvel is known for a lot of hype for its movies? It makes good movies, but is this a good movie that's getting you know, more hype or is it really that good a movie? As good a movie as people were saying. People were saying this is the best Marvel movie. People were saying, you know, Marvel's gonna have to step up its game. This is a milestone of Marvel movies. And so there was a lot of hype around it. Expectations were really, really high. And if if it had been even just a good movie, with the expectations being here, that would have really diminished the experience for me. Because now you, you because because of the effect hype has on something, when it doesn't reach your expectations, there's always going to be some kind of disappointment. But in this case, man, did it ever deliver! Again, I don't want to get into too many spoilers, so it's hard to really talk about it in depth without um, mentioning some of the major plot points and twists. But I will say that uh, the acting done by the cast, and the casting itself was really well, really well done. Um, uh, uh, the guy that played T'Challa, uh, I think his name is um, uh, Bozeman. His last name is Bozeman. I can't remember what, what his first name is. And Michael B. Jordan, who played uh, Warmonger, did a brilliant job. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure one of them's going to get nominated. My money's on Warmonger, because he really, really brought some things home with that part that I think uh, would have been hard for, for other people. In fact, he did such a good job that I didn't even recognize him. I didn't even see it, recognize it as him for the first, um, you know, for the first 30 minutes of the film. And I, I, I'm one of those guys that will avoid reading reviews or anything about the film before I go in. And I managed to do that with this film, even though I'd only seen it recently. Um, uh, because I wanted, it, I wanted it to be a surprise. I didn't want any spoilers. And people just have a way of dropping little things in their interviews, even when things are supposedly spoiler-free. Um, but in short, uh, if you haven't checked out the movie, I'd recommend doing it. First off, it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you're into that, then, you know, that, that's already a reason to check it out. Um, uh, they didn't, most of the Marvel movies, uh, up to this point have kind of set up for Infinity War. I'm not sure really w how this movie ties into that. Uh, then again, um, a lot of movies for the first, a lot of the Marvel movies for like the first movie, they don't really worry about that. They just kind of worry about the characters themselves, and the sequel has to maybe ties in a little bit more to the, the greater universe, and maybe that's what they intend to do here. Um, other than uh, the the memory of his father's death, that's not a spoiler because that happened in a previous film. Um, uh, there's not really, it doesn't really tie into any other. I don't think it really ties into any other events. Um, it just has to do. It just has to deal with sort of the world at large and uh, sort of people and uh, um, and family. And uh, it's hard for me to go say basically anything else without without some kind of spoiler. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, if you haven't checked out the film, check it out and let me know what you thought. If you have seen the film, down in the comments. This is Justin J, aka Jinkin Rocket. And I'll see you in the next video.